Press the export button on the top right to bring up the dataset versioning modal. This will list all the available export versions for this dataset. You can download any of these locally or click on a version name to copy a CLI command to your clipboard. If you're new to Darwin, you probably haven't created one yet, so let's make one. Start by giving it a name and then we'll pick a format. Darwin supports many of these, like popular formats like Coco, XML formats from inferior labeling tools like CVAT, a versatile Darwin JSON format that resembles the Coco format with some added features, a Darwin XML, Pascal Voc for the old school, as well as semantic masks in PNG and instance masks following the open images standard. By default, Darwin will only prompt you to export completed images, but you can also choose selected images to export images that may be incomplete or perhaps archived. You can also add class filters to exports. For example, only export the car class and leave out any others. You can choose to include annotator metadata to the export files, which will include the first name, last name, and username of the people who created the labels in this dataset. This means each label within a JSON or XML file will have a named author. This is very important if you're working in the medical field, for example, and want to seek FDA approval for your algorithms one day. Finally, you can add an export token to each export file. This will allow anyone with the export file, whether they have an account with v or not, to download the image that corresponds to each annotation. This is very useful if you're collaborating with external parties or want to publish your dataset. However, this will leave your images unencrypted, so do not select this option if you need to abide to encryption rules such as HIPAAs. All of these export versions are also available within open datasets. You can make a dataset open from the settings tab, and it's a great way to share your research with the world and give any visitor a graphical user interface to browse and filter your dataset. For developers and data scientists, there is a lot more that you can do with Darwin exports by visiting the Darwin Pi documentation. There are commands to list exports, download them locally, as well as bindings for PyTorch to load data into Torch Vision or Detectron 2. Make sure to give those a look and don't forget to star us on GitHub.